What's going on guys? Today we have a video going over what is in the toolbox. This is going to be called how to toolbox. This is how we do it. You guys must have a different way that you guys would like to do it. But we're going to show you what we have today, what we use in this shop today. And we're going to go through each drawer and kind of you know, give you like the insight of what we have. A couple of you have been asking for this video. This was a recommendation by you guys. We did not make this up. So thank you to you guys who gave this the, uh, the idea behind this. All right, so starting on the outside, I guess this will be kind of cool that stickers mean things. Uh, we'll start at the top, we'll start at the top. This sticker right here, uh, we got from Evan from Throttle that he, he actually stole this from TJ, so we got this before anyone else in like, basically America did. This one right here came from the rally, this one right here came from the rally, this one has always been there. I don't know where that came from. This came from Calvin's car, as you can see right here. It's not done yet, but that'll be later. Grim Speed, obviously, <laughs> Subi Life. Um, up here, we have a Circuit Demon sticker that we got a long, long time ago. On the side, we have more of Calvin's wrap. And then, we have Empire Wraps. This was Greg's company, that's our first, uh, I guess you could say, automotive company shoot that we did. Same sticker over here. Some guy put this sticker on my car at a car show. I don't really, uh, I don't really know why, but he put it on the car. So I'm like, sure, I'll take a free sticker. Up front, we have Evan Shanks No Ding Squad sticker. That was from a long, long time ago. Over here, we have the hashtag Dr. sticker, also from Evan that he stole from TJ. Venture sticker, our buddy owns this company and is uh, really cool with the out outdoor uh, apparel. All right, I guess we'll start from top and go down to the bottom. Right here. Before, before you even get down, down in this mess, these are, uh, as you guys have seen, all of my tickets. So this is my first ticket when I was 16. This is my second ticket when we went down to Import Alliance. And then this is my ticket that we literally just paid tonight, the night that this video was made. And that was for, so basically it's uh, parking ticket, speeding, speeding. All of which I didn't actually do, so screw you. I have a random box of screws and little things like that. This is the, basically the junk drawer, just random things. We got some airsoft guns. We got random clips that come from my car, tape. Uh, always need one of these, OBD2 reader. That's pretty much that. That's the junk drawer. That's where everything just gets quickly tossed into there. Down here you have a little drawer that you can take out all the way. This has all the screws in it. Um, it has uh, drill bits, it has fuses, just little things that um, try and stay organized with in, in this little thing. is where all the ratchets, this is where stuff kind of gets more organized and kind of looks a little bit more pretty. So we got ratchets, extensions, blah, blah, blah. Next we're down, this looks like it's really empty. Uh, it used to be more filled when I had uh, my other set of sockets in this drawer. Right now it's only half full. Um, but yeah. Right here, also a little bit better organization. Uh, this is everything that is um, a cutter or an electrical cutter or stripper. Uh, we have just randomized, anything that has like two arms, I guess that's how you can put it, is uh, I, I like to keep it organized by like what it actually does and how it functions, so there you go. This is where I have all the open end and ratcheting uh, wrenches. It could be a little bit better. It's not too horrible, but there's that one. There is where we have screwdrivers, flatheads, Phillips heads. Uh, we have a random couple chisels in here. Allen keys over here. Um, extra little uh, screwdriver drivers over here that you can put like different heads and stuff on. In this drawer, um, I like to think of this drawer as like raw materials, like anything that you need that you can pretty much modify. So you got like tubing, you got tape, uh, we have random spark plugs. I don't know where those came from. A couple wires, little uh, L brackets, or not L brackets, like elbows for tubing, more tubing, and more tubing. So that's the random, just raw materials type thing. In this drawer, this is our safety drawer. This is where you can find gloves, you can find safety goggles, you can find masks right here. Yeah, safety. Uh, and then we have a couple other big like plumbing wrenches that don't actually fit on the top ones. A couple other little sets of things over here. And then our final drawer at the bottom. 
This is where I have the drill. I have basically this is supposed to be the power tools type thing. Little tool. It's, uh, it's a vibro tool. It's a vibro tool. You, I actually like this for tiny spots that you need to sand. It just quickly takes that right off, no problem. Then there's different type of heads and stuff that you can use for that. And then you got the plug-in drill, which everyone loves. This is like the oldest drill you'll ever see, but it's still sick. And then alongside with that, what we uh, use on the go is this set right here. which obviously things fall out, such as this. This is basically everything that you would need on an average day to get a random job done. So this is what we pull over to the car when we're doing just a small job. Pretty much has everything you need uh, for the basic job. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. This was a video that you guys requested, so we may as well just go ahead and do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave it in the comments below. Also share like your ideas with tool sets, different types of tools that you guys have. Everyone has a favorite tool. Put down below, what's your favorite tool? There you go. Peace out. Let's say what.